All right, we should be back here on the Bubble East Broadcast Network. We, or internet just went out for a second, but we should be back, I would hope. Pekin is, has a fourth down. It is fourth down and 15, and they're in punt formation. As hopefully we're going to be back here in a moment. Joey, my partner, is pulling this up. Make sure it is up, and click on the channel, and then go to videos and past live streams. It should be there, hopefully. We get our viewers back that we're tuning in to the past one. There. As we're waiting. Yep, then there we go. We should be back. And we are back. Okay, we apologize for the internet issue. We are out here in the bleachers, so. And a false start here against Peak, and that's their, I believe, their third penalty of the night. I'll look at that here on my stats. And indeed, it is. There's third penalty nothing uh, fourth and 20. nothing too notable from that uh, peak and drive great plays by the Lanes for defense they uh, peak and did have a, a pass that would have gone for a long game but receiver dropped it there was a they did get a first down that punts could be at the 41 Lancers call a fair catch good field position that's the best they've started out here tonight let's see if it can lead to a first down they have been unable successfully convert any uh, down to, or drive, so we'll see if they could pick it up for first down here. But as we had that issue, we didn't uh, didn't miss much. Uh, Pekin uh, punted, and we should be back. We can apologize for that, but hopefully we're good to go here. It is first down in 10. At the 41 for the Beverly East Lancers. It's going to be one to the left, one to the right, running back in the backfield. And tight end motion right to left. QB under center, pitches back right side. It's going to be a handoff and brought down before the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a loss of two or three. And I believe that was, I believe, Hooper that said they made the tackle for the Pekin Dragons who. Or Hoover, I want to say it was Hoover. Alex, uh, right, number 34. Bradley Hoover on the stop, and it's going to be a loss of two for the Lancers. Second down and 12. Blockers didn't help out, uh, help out their back too much there on that pitch play. It'll be second and 12. It's going to be one to the right, one to the left, and a bunch of guys up the line of scrimmage with the running back in the backfield. QB under center. Two to guys in motion, right to the left side. Going to take the snap, going to look to throw. Millinder scribbles right side, wide open Got receiver, outside. caught at the oh. 44. There's the juke move and a nice play. He gets about the 47, and he's going to be about four yards short on third down. It'll be third and four. Good job uh, by Millinder getting the ball over that defender that was in his face. One for two on the passing game for Millinder. And I believe that went to Khalil Waller, I want to say that was. It looked like 15. Third and six, the 46. Third good, and six. Good chance here. Don't have to go for anything too crazy, too deep. Yep. Just keep the chains moving here. Third and six. Third and five, they say now. Taking the snap. Millinder throws it right side. First down for the Lancers. Juke oh. move. I always hope he got it. It's good. I, think he, I think he got it. He needed the 49. He got to about the 48. And that they're going to say a first down for the Lancers. That's their first first down of the night. Yeah, I think our perspective was messing up our angle a little bit there. But um, I'm sure you want to get that first down before you look to gain any other artist. Just yeah. run forward for that first down. Run. That was the first first down for the Lancers. The offense finally be able to gain some yards. Let's see if they can keep it up. It's going to be first to 10. They're in peak in territory at the 48. So he got one more yard than he needed. One to the left, QB under center, one to the right. Pitch it back right side, hand on, gets to the 50. And he oh. cuts it right side to the 45, to the Goal. 40. He's got a first down to the 35. I lost sight of him as he wow. switched it back over the middle to the right side. That's going to be close to the first down, about a 10-yard gain. Moisey Trimble on a 10-yard run. Incredible run by Trimble there, the blocking once again. Uh, couldn't contain the peak in defense, but he just ran to the other side in the open area. Cut it left, went to the left, cut it right, 11-yard run for Tremble. 
And now Lancer first down, two plays, two first downs. Here we go. Lancers are in a really good situation still, only down by 14. If they can get some points on the board here, that would be great. Get a touchdown, and you do receive second half kickoff as well. I know it's still nine minutes to the half, but that's going to be big if the Lancers want to get back in this ball game. First and 10, handoff up the middle. Set the tackler, Chuku with a 36. Inside He's the 35, gone. inside the 30, inside the 25, inside the red zone, inside the 15, inside the 10, inside oh. the 5. House call! Wow. House call! Touchdown, Boise Trumbo! Oh, On a 37 yard run, Moisey Trumbo to the house. I thought he was going to get stopped right at the line there. But so it's Markevis Curtin, Markevis okay. Curtin. What a touchdown run. Man, broke quite a few tackles there. Had to get into some open space. 30, 37 yards. 37. Wow. And the Lancers have made it a one possession there is, ball game. There is a flag on the field. Uh oh. I, uh, that holding uh -oh. on the offense. Oh, that's uh, that's gotta hurt. That hurts. Oh. That's a way to spoil the mood. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That really hurts. So the 37-yard touchdown run by Marquevis Curtin is erased, and now instead of that, it's a loss. It's eight. Oh. Mm, I could that could really set some momentum <laughs> both ways on those plays. Yeah. Mm. First at first at 18, now at the 45, 858 to go. Millinder shotgun and it takes the staff those on the right side, no one there. Incomplete second and ten. Intended receiver was Des Clark the junior. Man, that's really gonna be on everybody's mind for the rest of the game, uh, if the Lancers don't come away with another touchdown here. It'll be second down and long. Second at 18, 8.54 to go. Second down. And 18 for the Lancers after an incompletion. Here comes the snap, Miller, not the best stop. He's able to get it, wants it. And the 45, Chukwu brought down the 43, gained him about two. Third down and 16, Miller a two yard carry. I don't know if that was a planned run or not, but did not go anywhere. And depending Third. on uh, how the Lancers feel about their kicker's strength, maybe could at least get in field goal range here, if not the first down. Lancers did miss an extra point. Last week at Collinsville, they had three touchdowns, two for three on the extra points. It won 20 to 12 to start off the season 1 and 0, but Pekin had a 56 to 20 win at Rock Island to start off their season 1 and 0. Three to the right, one to the left, a big third down play. Milliner takes the snap and the shotgun. Gonna look to throw, right side, wide up receiver inside the 30. Cock at the 28. Gonna I think he's gonna, be, he's gonna be close, but Joey say it's short. Gonna we'll be see. About two yards short. Once again, depending on how they feel about their kicker, maybe they want to go for it here instead. They're at the 28, they're saying no, fourth they're down. They're staying fourth out there. One, fourth and one. That was number eight on the catch, which is Jordan Pickett, the two-sport athlete. Quarterback Millinder is staying out there, so it looks like Lancers are going to try to gain this one yard. You got to get it. He up, hopefully, um, something better drawn up than the run that got stuffed on that, their earlier fourth down attempt. Fourth and one for the Belleville East Lancers at the 28, 8.07 to play. Here we go. Fourth and one. Milliner in the shotgun, two right and a timeout by the referee. Let's see what we got. Lancers calling a timeout here. Got to talk Trying to over. regroup. This is a big play call here too. Yeah, big certainly. Play big play call. Let's take a 15 second break. Let's hear a message from the Daily Grind as they have their grand reopening on September. Where'd you get those from? These? Yeah. I got these right from the Daily Grind. Right here in the library. The Daily Grind, opening September 15th. It's the same Fourth and one, welcome back to the Belle East Broadcast Network. It is fourth and one. The Lancers are at the, at the peak at 28 yard line. They're gonna try and pick this up. This is the farthest they've went. 
And they need to they need to pick this up, convert. Yep, it's been a great offensive drive so far, despite the um, the curtain touchdown getting called back by a holding call. It was two third down, third and 18 the last play, and they've been able to get this close. Fourth down and one. It's going to be one to the right, one to the left. Running back at the backfield, Millinder under center takes the snap, hands it off, Troop move right side, it. and I think wow. he he's going to be close. I don't know if he got it. I don't know if he got it with the spot they're given. Yeah. That's that's going to be a turnover on downs. They may need to measure it. That spot, Coach Harrison signaled first down to the peak of defense is coming off the field. Some are, at least. How about half of the team? Is it first down? We'll see what they want to give them. The peak of defense is on the whole side, on their sideline. The referees are talking oh, about it. They're out the chains. Here we go. They're going to measure it. Let's hope uh, no index cards are necessary <laughs> for measuring uh, <laughs> equipment. Well, they need a good, uh, let's hopefully this is a good spot. This, they need a good spot here if they want to pick this up. Here we go. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Short. And the roll that, yeah. Thought he had some room outside, but just couldn't cut it in time. I didn't like the spot they give him, and he's short. Was Moisey Trimble on the run. Gain of zero and a turnover on down. So the Belle East Lancers, they know two to go. And man, if they can, I mean, we had the 37 yard touchdown run that got called back. And if you can pick that up, you got some big momentum to go your way. But I'm not able to pick it up. It gives Peek another chance to capitalize and get some momentum going their way. Yep, the, the Lancers defense has had to be on their toes all game now, uh, trying to keep this 14-point lead only 14 points. Uh, and this big, once again, you know, if they can give the ball back to the offense here, hopefully have them score before halftime so that they can uh, take advantage of receiving the opening kickoff in the second half here. As the quarterback takes it, tosses it to the running back. He's out across the 30 and it's about the 35, about a seven yard gain. I believe that was Kanye Tyler on the play. Well, and it was a seven yard run. He's got about 25 yards to my count rushing the ball on four carries around there, at least 25 yards. May have missed the run on that last drive as we had to reconnect the internet, but second and three, peeking at the ball at about the 34. Seven and a half to go in the half. Two to the left, wide receiver in motion left to right. Going to hand off up Ooh. the middle, first down. He got a lot of room and he tripped oh, man. at the 44. Lancers got lucky there. Oh, yeah. Elements helped them out there. The the defensive line kind of just all collapsed uh, inside a wide open hole for uh, the running back there. Tyler, the ball carrier. That was the first down. They got about 10 on the carry. And I want to say now that's up to, what is that? about 35 yards running for Kanye Tyler and then Sparinger has a, a lot more than that. First and 10, it's gonna be a QB run. He does, he would have faked the pitch. He runs it up the middle. He's got about midfield and he's brought down at midfield about a gain of six. It'll be second down and medium. This QB, I mean this pe peaking offense, Lancers have been able to really contain him a bit. They've only allowed one touchdown on the defensive side and this peaking offense, they score 56 points, that is, Eight touchdowns wow. a week ago. So East has been able to stop them up a little bit up to this point. It's second and four at midfield. Two to the left, two to the two to the right. Throw That's up the middle. Wild open receiver wide inside the 35. I believe he oh. held on, and he did for a peak in first down. A gain of 19 on the play. It's a first down and 10 for the Pekin Dragons. Safety was a little bit late to him there, but if he had just printed over there in time uh, to close the distance a little bit, it looked like he could have got his hands on that low pass. That was a 19-yard reception on the play, and Pekin at the Belleville East 31-yard line for the third time tonight in Belleville East territory. Lancers have picked up two first downs, Pekin a lot more. First it's head to the right, one to the left. It's going to be a handoff right side at the 35. He's going to push forward about the 32. That's a, or sorry, inside the 30, about the 27. I got my arm marker wrong. That's going to be a gain of four, second and six. Right. Tyler again, the end of three. Up to my count, he's had more carries than Spurger, but Spurger still with more yards. I mean, I said this earlier, these two guys, had more than 2,000 yards combined last year. You're playing 
10 football games, mm -hmm. including the playoffs. I mean, that's 200 yards combined for uh, both of them a game. I mean, that's insane. They had four, over 400 yards total offense last week. There's the throw. Bounce ball's off. tipped. Oh. And it's going to be incomplete. Third down. And with tipped, ricocheted off the hands of the peak and receiver. And it's third down for the Lancers. Man, that gave me uh, flashbacks of the blue and white scrimmage from yep. here a few weeks ago when a, a linebacker for the Lancers that took the pick. Don't mean to interrupt. That linebacker is Carter Allison with the pick in that yeah, blue and okay. white scrimmage. Remember that? And oh, oh, was hoping for one like that. Yeah. Third down and six, though. Eight, they're at the 27. It'll be about a 44-yard kick if the Lancers could stop him at this yard. Three to the left, one to the right, running back to the left side. Shotgun, snap, pressure plot. Ah. Gets it away at the th 25, inside the 20, first down, inside the 15, inside the 10, inside the five, yes, to the house. A 27-yard touchdown pass. That was, I believe, that was Tanner Spurcher on, a, on the touchdown reception, and it's 20 out the peak of Dragons with five minutes to go in the first half. Yep, the two-headed monster in the peak and backfield is certainly the story of this game, and Lance is not able to stop him there. At least, hopefully, on this upcoming drive, they can get something going on offense, uh, something nice to build off of after their last drive. Maybe build some momentum here going into the second half. Well, if you get score a touchdown as the extra point, it's up and it is good. It's 21 at the peak of Dragons with five minutes to go. But I was saying, if you could score a touchdown here to end the half, yep. you do have second half kickoff. I was talking about earlier how important it's going to be for the Lancers to get back in this game. They can score again, make it a seven point game with peaking the ball in the third quarter if everything can go right. And that is if everything can go right. <laughs> Five minutes left to go in the uh, first half. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back on the Bell East Broadcast Network. And we're back on the Bell Blaze Broadcast Network. We just saw a peaking score from 27 yards out to make it a 21-0 ball game. And here comes the kick from Pekin about the 30. And that ah. ball is going to be muffed. And let's see who's got it. Pekin jumped on it. I don't know if I like this. Let's hopefully it's going to be Lancer football. But I believe it is. Hopefully. Out of bounds. Okay. Thank goodness. Because that we saw that with Collinsville last week where they muffed the kick and it led to the Lancers be able to pick it up and get good field position. They weren't able to score that drive, but still shows because that ball would have been at the 21 yard line of East if we just saw what yep. Pekin could do in that last drive. Absolutely, yeah, glad we didn't have a Brandon Bostic moment from the 2014 NFC Championship. Ooh. Glad it got lucky on the sidelines there. First to 10, the Lancers will start off with their own 26. The last drive, we saw a little momentum, a little success. Let's see if they can get it again. It'll be three to the right, one to the left for Milliner and a shotgun. He's the only one in the backfield. Wide receivers are outnumbering the peak and defenders. Yep. So they're going to go with the screen. Screen pass about the 23, out across the 25, ah. behind the tackle play. He got to the line of scrimmage just about, and no yards gained. They'll give him one, second to nine. Yeah, you're starting to see the effect of a little bit of uh, slipperiness from this light rain here tonight. Second and nine. At the 27, four and a half to go. And the Lancers, like I said, have only had picked up Bell to convert two first downs in this game. So the offense needs to get going. Didn't get going a little bit in the last drive. We got to be able to keep it going with about four minutes to play in the half. Motion right to left. Heavy Miller offense in the center. Here. Takes the pitch, oh, wow. rolls back right, going to run the ball, now throws. Receiver overshoot ah. through him. That was wide open. That Man. was number 18, I believe, which is going to be Keithan Jones, the sophomore. Nope. Moody, sorry. So 16, Xavier Moody, the sophomore, was wide open 
on the play, but an overthrow by Millender, who has not been able to throw the ball well tonight. He has an interception, and it's third down and nine. Yeah, he had Moody open, obviously, his intended target, but he also had Vincent right over the middle, one that he wants to have back. Third and nine for the Lancers. 3.55 to go, and if you can't convert here, Pekin will have solid field position and time to score again before the half. Takes his snap, Milliner gonna look to throw, fires it right got, side, got pass outside. is caught at about the 34. He's gonna be short. I think they may give him the 35, but it doesn't matter what spot they give him, he's gonna be two yards short. That was Armin Vincent. Fourth and one again. Armin Vincent on the catch for, is that seven yards? I'm going to say about seven. Yeah. And the Lancer offense is coming off the field. They're going to punt. Ah. I mean. Probably not the worst idea yeah. where, where they're at on the field. Too much too much to lose. Yep, just pin uh, peeking back to deep here. They'll be fourth and one. And a punt. Punter back at the 23. And the peeking returner at the 39. Here comes the Close punt. Snap. Okay. It's up and it is going to be caught. Fair catch calling for it at the 39. Peak. It will start off with 3.43 to go in the first half. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back in the Middle East. Broadcast. Welcome back to Belvis Broadcast Network. The Pika Dragons have a 21-0 lead with 3.43 to go in the first half. They've controlled this game the whole time. And it's with right away on the kickoff return, 13 seconds in, and a whistle from the refs. I believe Pekin's going to call a timeout. Lancers have two remaining, and... And yes, it was a peaked timeout. With that timeout, let's go to take a 60 second short break. Here's a short message from the Lancer Bands. I'm excited about the growth and like just how the band has like come so far and how everything is just improving so fast and how, improve, how much improvement we have made too. I'm excited about the concept. Um, our show is called After Dark, so there's a lot of stuff from like midnight, we make a crescent moon, and our props are big light posts, which are very cool. I'm excited about the competitions, we'll have five, and we're in the BOA. Tap right back in. We're back here. And here comes a snap as that's going to be run up the middle. I'm out to the 37. He's going to get pushed forward about the 38, 39. I believe he didn't gain any yards in the play. It'll be second down. And you can hear the Lancer fans, their halftime performance coming up. Sorry to the 43, and a four. But you can hear the Lancer fan performance coming up here at the half, about three minutes to go in the first half. After dark is their theme for this 2022-2023 uh, school year. You can hear that at the half coming up shortly. Second and seven. And QB ah. try to draw him off sides, and he may have. Flag thrown. False start, though. There'll be a false start back okay. about five, second and 12. He'll take it. That is the Pekin's fourth, I believe, fourth, and yes, fourth flag on the pl on the game. Fifth, actually. I, they've had two false starts and an offsides penalty to my count, at least. Yeah, the Lancers second seem, seem to be playing a much cleaner game uh, than Pekin. Only one penalty to my count for the yes. East, and that came early on an offsides call on a, t on a touchdown drive that made it 14 nothing. Taking a snap, he could have looked to throw a quarterback and shotgun, fires it up the middle, wide open kit receiver, ah. and he held on on the hit. A first down for the Pekin Dragons inside the Lancer 40. Mark him at the 39, 2.49 to go with the clock stopped. Defense line did a great job of getting pressure on the quarterback there, but just had a little too much time to dot his wide receiver up down the field. First and 10, this is a great play by the wide receiver for Pekin. He was able to hold on 
and keep possession to pick up a peak and first down and a big play there. That was for 18, first and 10. Two to the left, one to the right. Peek and handoff up the middle inside the 40. And he is stopped. Gets a okay. little forward, though, to about the 36. They have a gain of three. Second and seven. Nice job hanging on by a few Lancers defenders there, making sure they can bring him down. This is asking for a lot, but a turnover would just be great here. Build some momentum and take away uh, the Peekins opportunity to score before half. Either that or try and keep him out of field goal range. Yep. Second and seven. Wide receiver in motion left to right. They're going to hand it off to him. How about the 38? Inside the 35, inside the 30. Okay. Where he's brought down at the 31. He's going to be about two yards short. It's third down. Let's see if the Lancers can get out of a drive. Sonny McGill, number one in the corner. That's the first time we've heard his name tonight. He makes the stop. They'll mark him three yards short at the 32. It's a great tackle from McGill, just lifting the receiver off the ground there. Time is running off quick. One and uh, a half to go. I would assume if he's going to get a stop, make it fourth, they'll call a timeout. Wide receiver motion right to left, third and three. They fake it, handoff. Tyler up the middle inside okay. the 30, brought down the 24. It's a first down, a gate of eight. They're going to... Get the first down, obviously, here, but like I said, clock is running. Yep, clock is running. 115. Pekin certainly got to hurry things up if they want a chance at a touchdown here. We'll see if Pekin, we know they did make eight extra points last week, but we'll see if they can make field goals if we can get there. If the Lancers can get there, 60 seconds to go in the first half. Taking the snap, handoff left side, Tyler at the 25, inside the Stop 20. Chooks a move at the 17. The inside the 15, five of the house. Touchdown, Pekin, but it may come back. Yeah, flag by the line of scrimmage, maybe a yep. holding call here. Back judge threw it. And they're back, I think they're backing it up. We'll see what we got. Oh, looks like probably a holding call. Holding, offense, yep. So that touchdown draw, or that touchdown play, we saw East have a 37 yard run by Curtin that came back on a hold and penalty into a 23 yard run here for the, to the house by Kanye Tyler. Ended up coming back and it's a 12 yard penalty on the hold, first down to 22. And now the peaking, we don't know how far the kicker can kick, but you gotta say they're on borderline field goal range. Yeah, pushing them most. back to the 35 now, 52 seconds left. If the Lancers on these next few plays can at least stop any big games, that'd be great. First and said, two to the left, wide receiver motion left to right side, hands it off, Tyler up the middle inside okay. the 30, pulling him at the 27, we're seeing a lot of wide receivers in motion, and a timeout call of 44.9 to go, I assume, Pekin calls the timeout. And Zion Mitchell on the stop, eight yard gain by Tyler. Second out at 14, Pekin did call the timeout. They're second of the half, so they got one remaining here. Second at 14 at 27. Coming up here at the halftime, we have the Belize Marching Lancers. We'll have their halftime performance coming up at the half, and we'll also have our little halftime report before they perform. And that, a little bit after that, we'll get, start talking the second half after they perform. It's going to be second out at 14 after a peak in timeout. Lancers here just trying to hold on for dear life and maybe pull a stop out or a turnover or something to go their way. They've had nothing to go their way. The one play they did have to go their way was a 37-yard <laughs> touchdown run that got called back for holding. Yeah, last two drives, though, passing game has looked much better for the Lancer offense. Obviously, uh, Trimble and Curden have burst off some good runs. So hopefully in the second half, um, you know, already a big deficit as of now, but hopefully they can start to chip away at that. Two to the left, two to the right. Wide receiver in motion again. Going to throw right side. Pylon, and it's okay. overthrown and complete third down at a receiver. He had his man beat, but it's overthrown by um, Jordan. Scott Jordan, the quarterback, he overthrew it a bit. Third down at 14, out of it a touchdown. If he could have got it right to him. Third down at 14 for the Pekin Dragons. If I was Pekin's offense here, I would just try to get in better range for a field goal. Just gain what yards you can, yep. get to your kicker's preferred hash mark. They're at the 27. It would be about a 44-yard kick right now if the Lancers could stop them on third. 
Snap, throw, fake throw, left side. Now throw it left side. Go uh, to the pylon, and it is caught. And I believe so out of bounds. Yep. Okay. Made complete. Fourth Dodged down. Dodge the bullet there. Yep. Lancers get a break, and now it's up to Pekin. Will they kick a 44-yard kick, or will they keep the offense on the field or punt it? The quarterback, at least, is staying out there. Scott Jordan, number 10. And they're keeping the team. They're going to – I see t Tyler, at least at Jordan, he's, they're staying out there and going to go for it. All right. 14, you got to get a stop here. Risky move here, but this could really – for Pekin, this could really be a dagger if they can score yep. one here. Two to the left, one to the right. Tyler in the backfield, right side of the QB at Jordan. He's going to take the snap, fake it. He's going to hand off. They pitch it back. Wide receiver going to throw. Fires over the left. Passes. Intercepted. Intercepted. Oh, okay. And dropped. They'll take the turnover right. on downs. And I believe Lancers will – but I don't believe they're going to take over 27 seconds at the 27. They get a turnover on downs. I don't know what the offense was looking like there, but him dropping that interception might have been a better result now. Get them bet some better field position. 20 seconds, 26 seconds is in a lot of time, but we'll see what they can do here before the half. They do have two timeouts remaining, and the clock stops on a first down. You get the line of scrimmage, so we'll see if Miller wants to take some shots. Downfield, we haven't seen much of that in this ball game. I'm oh, sorry, Lancers have – they do have two timeouts. Lancers do receive second half kickoff, so you never know if you can try and break a play, break a pass, break a yep. run All for, six some, is one. Some big, some, for some big yards and try and get in that end zone. This could be a ball game rolling in, in the second half. It's going to be two to the right, two to the left for Milliner in the shotgun. Going to take the snap, high snap, hand off the middle, out about to the 28. Set the tackle okay, at the 30, up. inside the 30. Five of the 40 out. at the 41, 19.1 to go. A big 14-yard gain for the Lancers. That was Moisey Trimble on a 14-yard carry. He's got, 20, I believe, 28 rushing yards, and the Lancers. Yep. We've talked many times about how this second uh, half kickoff is going to be so important for the Lancers in this potential comeback here. And Lancers called the timeout 19.1 to go. First and 10. Depending on how the Lancers do in the second half, I think we'll look back on that stop the defense just had there. Yeah.